Now, what we want to do is we want to show our users the to dos they've added. So we have to do two things. One is we have to get the to dos from uh, MongoDB. And the second one is we have to change our index HTML dynamically to let the users see our to dos. So the first thing we are going to do, the second one I might um, release later. So if you are watching this later, you might be able to see the videos right now. If not, please be patient, I will share them also. So let's get one step at a time. We can get the quotes from MongoLab by using the find method that's available in the collection method, okay? So we will get it here. So let's delete this one. Let's don't delete the whole file. And what we will say is var cursor equals to db.collection and which collection? To do and here we will say simply dot find okay it's um, quite simple to get the data from uh, mongodb so the find method returns a cursor this is a mongodb object probably doesn't make uh, sense if you console if you use console.log um, to see it so if you want we can say console.log and check what's inside but as I said it will not have nice things right so let's hit enter since this is the get uh, okay this is the cursor so as you see it's a JSON object but it has some um, interesting things inside of it and now how are we going to get the data so there's a really easy and simple way. So the good news is that this cursor object contains all to do's from our database. It also contains a bunch of other properties but and methods but uh, that allows us to work with uh, it easily. So one of these uh, methods is two array methods. So this is what we are going to use and uh, to error matrix method takes in a callback function that allows us to do stuff with to do be retrieved from our DB. Let's try doing a console log for the results and see what we get if we use the to array uh, method. So what we will say is find that to array and as I said here we have a call back so we will say function and the first is again error and the second one will be results now inside here we will say console cannot confirm console.log and now let's log our re results we don't need this anymore let's save again so great now yeah <laughs> let's go back and stop this one okay let's refresh let's save again so it starts again and now if i hit enter voila here we have two objects clean up and priority write some codes and priority so please ignore this one because since uh, web browser our web browser chrome was trying to reach it it always uh, makes some calls to the server and we encountered one of these so if you check again oops of course you can't see it here and I want to clear this, okay. And new npm run dev. Okay, let's go back and hit enter. And okay, 
it's an array. It has two objects. The first one is this and the second one is this. So if I say here, let's get the first one, for example. You see, I just get one and it's the first one. If I say, get the first one's name only. I hit enter and you see I have just clean up. So that's done. Now the next part will be we have to get this priority into our index HTML dynamically. Okay, for that, as I said, we have to use library framework and we will use Polymer and that will be helping us to get this data to our users. Okay, so thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next lecture.